Ali, I am Karen and I am the founder of The Student Letter. And today we are going to look at um, how you can secure a training contract with a solicitor's firm. Um, it would be greatly to your advantage if you can, because a training contract means that your tuition fees for uh, your graduate diploma in law, if you require it, your law practice course um, is fully paid for. Um, and you get a maintenance grant um, in addition while you're studying and then a guaranteed two years work afterwards. Um, and that two years work is broken down into four six month placements. They're called seats um, and you rotate through four different departments. You can apply to as many uh, solicitors as you want for training contracts. Um, all I would say is, you know, be careful of quantity over quality. Um, you do need to bespoke those applications um, and they're quite long winded. Um, so make sure that um, if you do a number, uh, you really pay attention to them. Um, the, the process um, to gaining a training contract is quite a long one. Um, you have a fairly comprehensive application form uh, to fill in. Um, then you will be asked to do online critical thinking tests. They're often called Watson Glazier tests. After that, if you get through them, uh, you will get some sort of 45 minute phone interview. And if you get through that, um, you will be invited to an assessment centre with a number of sort of modules. A few firms um, reduce that, uh, Slaughter and May comes to mind and they actually condense that into literally a, a CV, a covering letter and an interview. But the majority will take you through um, a fairly long winded process. A um, couple of points on the critical thinking test. Um, make sure you practice these. There's lots of links on the Student Ladder website to practice tests. Um, they tend to be split into five different sections. Um, that is inference, uh, deduction, interpretation, um, uh, recognition of assumption and analysis of the strength of arguments. Um, and, and what they're trying to do is really test your, your understanding and your interpretation of English. Um, they tend to be multiple choice. You get about 40 questions in about half an hour. Um, so have a look um, and practice, have a look at the information and practice them so you really understand what you're doing because um, you have to pass them for your um, uh, actual application to be progressed. The other thing I would say on your application form is um, you'll be asked for your grades for all of your modules and those are modules going back all the way to your first year. So anyone telling you that it doesn't matter what your grades are in the first year, unfortunately, if you want to become a lawyer, it does. Um, they want you to be consistently achieving sort of two, two, uh, two, one status, sorry, um, all, all the way through. So um, hopefully that you will have passed those and you'll be in interview stage. Um, a few things to cover here. Um, firstly, you will be asked about your motivation um, for becoming a solicitor. Um, and make sure you can answer this well. If you think about it, um, they are putting a lot of investment in you, perhaps one or two years um, tuition fees they're paying and then another two years um, for you to train um, with them. Um, so they don't want you dropping out, they want to know that you're completely committed. Um, the next question, which is easy, but a lot of people get tripped up, and that is why that firm? And, and try here not to give some sort of generic answer. Try and be a little bit different, a little bit innovative, maybe try and marry the specialism that you're interested in, maybe to what the firm does, or if there's something uh, interesting in the press about that firm. So give it some thought and develop something that's, that's interesting. Uh, you will um, be asked about um, your specialism, whether what area you would potentially like to specialise in, and that might be on your application form. Um, it's not absolutely essential you're sure of this. I think they understand that you know, you're not immersed in it, but I think it's good, good to have an opinion, and if you are going to voice something, then make sure you can talk about it. So if you're going to um, claim that you'd like to get into M&A, for instance, then you know, be prepared for a question about it. Be prepared to ask be asked you know, what the components of a deal constitute, for, for example. Um, 
The other area you will get quizzed in an interview is the whole area of commercial awareness. So make sure you read the legal press, make sure you read the papers, you know, the Law Society, the Gazette, the supplement on the Thursday in, in, in the Times, um, the lawyer, etc. Um, be up with topical legal subjects because they will come up um, and you might well be asked to, 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 to name a story that interested you and, and you, know, you will be you know, asked about it. It's also worth um, researching your interviewer. Often in uh, legal interviews, they'll tell you who's interviewing you. And the great thing about law firms is um, there's a lot of information about um, the partners and the solicitors. So go and have a look at what they specialise in, go and have a look at um, what cases they've recently done, what they like to do out of work, and then and just be careful how you use it. Don't, don't be too overt about it, that's a bit creepy, but you know, just, just use, it, use it sensibly. Um, uh, maybe gin up on some of those, those areas. Um, the other thing I would say about the interview, be careful of trying to wing it. Occasionally they might throw you in a question that isn't really answerable. So if you get a question you think, I don't know what they're talking about, or I don't really know how to answer this, maybe just say so, just say I'm sorry, I don't really understand, or I can't answer that. You know, they're maybe trying to catch you out. So, so beware of that question and also make sure you keep your calm. The whole point of an interview, they will look, be looking to maybe try and rattle you. They want to see how you, how you react under pressure. Um, they might throw some negative stuff at you. Um, so just um, be considered at all times uh, and be, 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 be sort of, you know, have a collective presence really. Um, those are some of the core um, interview questions that will come up. Um, the, the other thing you'll be faced with um, is a different type of interview, which will be what's called a situation judgment test. So what that is, is you will be given a whole range of situations and you'll be asked what you would do in them. So uh, for example, uh, you're in a client meeting with a partner and the partner has just told the client something that you know is 100% incorrect. What do you do? So, what are they looking for here? They're looking for discretion, they're looking for professionalism, they're looking for integrity, they're looking for whether you're a leader or a follower, they're looking for whether you're impulsive. So think carefully about what sort of answers they want. In that particular situation, you would not say, oh, well, I'll just put him correct and let them know he's made a mistake because that's undermining and embarrassing. You might say, well, if there's an opportunity, maybe we take a break, I might point out to him, I could pass a piece of paper to him, etc. Another question might be, um, the partner's just left the room, the clients have been talking about some of the information um, you've just been sharing with them and they've got some of it wrong, what do you do? So again, you need to decide whether you're going to put them right uh, and if so, how. So those are the sort of situations you're going to be, um, uh, be, be, um, be exposed to really. Uh, the other area you're going to be interviewed on is you're often given um, an article to read. It's going to be something topical so um, what would it be currently maybe um, tax evasion that's topical so if you've done some good legal reading um, you'll have some opinions you don't have to be informed about the subject so don't worry about that but you do need to have a considered view about it and you do need to have an opinion and be prepared to defend that opinion um, or be challenged on it um, so, so be balanced um, when, when you're discussing um, your, your answers um, and be commercial as well. These are commercial firms um, that you're dealing with. Uh, uh, and finally, you will have a group exercise. So the group exercise will consist probably of four people um, and you will be observed. Um, it is uh, what the name suggests. It's a group exercise. So they're looking to see how you work in a team. So don't try and dominate. You don't need to. Um, be careful not to be too dogmatic. Um, they want to see you collaborate. They want to see you work with other people. They want to see you've considered other people's views um, and you've considered the options that you might be discussing in that exercise. Um, so be careful about doing something too extreme, saying, oh, I don't think we should you know, consider those. I think that's, you know, not, 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 not take that path. Um, but also don't fade into the background. Um, you need to be heard and you need to contribute. And then occasionally and finally, you might get a personality test. 
Um, don't, don't worry too much about this. They might use it a little bit to, to, to put you on the defensive. Um, make sure that you show you're, you're not too defensive, you can take criticism. Um, but you can also defend yourself at the same time, you know, be prepared to say, yeah, maybe that is an area, you know, I need, need, need to work on. Um, that probably covers a whirlwind uh, um, application and interview process. Um, so good luck. Um, my advice really is to do as much preparation as you can, um, because I think that you can prepare for these things. Um, have a look on the Student Ladder website. There is other videos in this series that might help you. Um, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter um, for more updates. Um, in the meantime, good luck.